big thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Hello everyone and welcome back to an episode of Why, the series where we ask why. In today's episode, we're taking a look at a steering wheel for the Game Boy Advance. Why? So as we all know, the Game Boy Advance was a huge feat for Nintendo. Coming from the Game Boy Color, this thing was a bit of a step up to say the least. And it had obviously the new line of games and cartridges for it, which utilized a 32-bit processor and better colors and a much more comfortable form factor. The Game Boy Advance has shoulder buttons, which is not something we'd seen on the previous four generations of Game Boys. But that wasn't the only new input method. Obviously, the Game Boy Advance has an accelerometer. Sorry? What? It, not like the Wii Remote, no. What, I thought you could control it by steering it. Oh, so what's the point in this? The Rally Boy Steering Wheel. Why? This cost me £26. I got it from Italy. It was uh, £13. Buy it now with £13 shipping. And this claims to be the world's first racing racing wheel for Game Boy Advance. It's obviously not licensed by Nintendo because Nintendo probably thought it was absolutely ridiculous. Responsive steering, accelerator and brake, and game storage for the Game Boy Advance. There's not really a lot going on on the box, to be honest. Besides that, it's quite a, a simple packaging. It says that it was made by X Technologies, and they have a website there, xtechnologies.com. Be interesting to see if that still exists. And we've got a big new logo at the bottom there. So, let's take a look at it. Let's not hesitate anymore. Oh my God, I always hated this packaging. Oh, smells awful. What is that? No. Nah. Here are the instructions for the Rally Boy. Congratulations on choosing the Game Boy Advanced Rally Wheel. What happened to Rally Boy Wheel? They haven't they've changed the name of it on the, in the first sentence. This wheel equipped GBA will bring you much more racing simulation anywhere and any time. See, I beg to differ on that because this is a fairly fairly portable little console. You know, you just chuck it in your pocket. Where's this going? Features more realism and comfort during gameplay for all racing games. Unlimited adjustable viewing angles. Hang, hang on, no way is there. Wait, no. There's no, it doesn't change its viewing angle at all. Robust construction for the ultimate GBA driving experience. Portable anywhere and anytime. They've said that one again. And uh, no batteries needed. Secure the game with advance into the wheel. Blah, 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 blah. So, here it is. And uh, immediately the little feet rubber things have, have sort of come out of place, but that's okay. It's, it's been in a box for a long time. It might have been exposed to some heat, so we'll just stick that back down and give it the benefit of the doubt. Um, immediately, it feels fairly good. Not gonna lie, it does feel fairly high quality. It's got some sort of like a spring action loaded sort of uh, movement in there. You can see it's snapping up there. Now, the reason why that's bloody cool is because the buttons obviously move with the uh, the steering wheel, these sort of like paddles here, which I imagine is for accelerating. Now over here, these buttons stay in the same place, the up and down buttons. There's no directional. Oh my God, that is very clever. So I was wondering where left and right was. Left and right is caused by the steering wheel actually moving. This is really cool. Okay, let's plug the Game Boy into the back. So this is fairly simple. It just sort of clips in like that. Very, very simple to go in there. Yeah, that's feeling really good. Okay, so let's turn it on. We've got all our access to our ports there. There's nothing sort of hidden out of the way. So we'll go ahead and turn it on and boom. You can see we now have 
a bloody racing wheel and it has got storage for games. Wait a minute. Wow, well, that one doesn't quite go in. The so-called storage for games shouldn't have really been advertised. It's it's more so sort of a a slot that can loosely hold a Game Boy cartridge. So let's uh, let's ignore that feature. But um, okay, here we go. So this is actually fairly cool. You know, I'm actually really surprised. So obviously we're gonna go for Mario Kart and press A. Yeah, okay, the buttons press quite well. This is actually sick. I, I thought this video was gonna be a complete uh, piss take, but it's actually fairly good. And you can see there's some speaker holes here for the audio to pass through. And uh, I think I'm gonna have to angle the camera down here so that we can see what's going on on the screen. Okay, well this setup is gonna have to do. Let's go ahead and press start. Here we go, the maiden test of the X Technologies Rally Boy. Oh, oh, that's a bit. The shoulder buttons are very hard to hit. The shoulder buttons are very hard to hit. And also because you're sort of moving the whole wheel, the Game Boy Advance isn't, isn't level where your hands are. So then you have to like sort of reach down and press the, uh, the shoulder button. So that's a little bit not ideal. It would have been really cool if they could have figured out some sort of like paddle shift for uh, f for these shoulder buttons, that would have been amazing. But I'm not sure how many games actually utilize the shoulder button. Obviously, Mario Kart does because you've got to fire the stuff that you get out of the boxes and also skid. But maybe a lot of the other rally games are just accelerate and steer. But this is actually pretty good. I'm actually fairly surprised. I did think this was going to be a complete joke of an accessory. But it's actually quite fun. It's quite difficult to record and play because I'm looking at it from an angle. I'm also bad at the game, which is why I came eighth. But it's actually a pretty decent little thing. The build quality is not fantastic, you know. It's not... I mean, it will do. It doesn't quite feel like Nintendo plastic. You've sort of got like a nice grip texture here. Uh, and the buttons are good enough. They, they function absolutely fine. Um, so let's play another racing game. What's the point of this game? <laughs> you just have to drive around and bash into each other? This game is, uh, this game is interesting. <laughs> I mean, it works really well, and there's something quite bizarre about that new input method on the Game Boy. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it does feel really cool. I sort of want to know how it works a little bit better. I know it's just obviously like pass through buttons, but let's see if we can even get the Game Boy out. Oh, okay, so I can see how it works. So basically these two buttons here have sort of prongs that sit down on a platform and the prongs obviously just slide along and then when you press the button the whole platform gets pushed down uh, and that is how it's going to constantly register the A and the B even when you're sliding the, uh, the wheel around. So that's really clever. Now the actual steering wheel itself is a little bit more complicated. I'm not really sure how that's working but obviously it's got to be something to do with the, the plastic mould just rising up um, and, and pressing this sort of, or rocking these two um, little pass-through buttons here. And then everything else is just very, very simple pass-through buttons. Sort of feels like there's a little bit of rubber in there. I don't think it's springs. Um, and then that's sort of giving them a bit more of a, a spring because they're not just like staying in when you press them. So that is the X Technologies Rally Boy. Fairly surprising, not gonna lie. I'm actually really impressed by it. I did think this was gonna be a complete mick take of a video, but it's turned out to be something rather cool and, and it does obviously work very well. So good job to X Technologies. No one's heard of it, so it can't have been a big seller. It's sort of hard to justify buying an accessory that completely removes 
all portability from the uh, the Game Boy. You're going to have to bring a bag with you now if you wanted to take this around with you. Um, and also, it's not a necessary addition to the, the actual Game Boy itself. Unlike the Wii Remote steering wheels, which just gives you more oomph to hold on to than the tiny little uh, Wii Remote when you're steering around, it's a, it's a pretty cool thing, not gonna lie. I think you have to be a, quite a rally game enthusiast to have bought this back in the day. Um, but yeah, I really like it. Let me know what your thoughts are in the uh, comments section down below. Big thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. This video was sponsored by Skillshare, an online learning community with thousands of lessons, including this fantastic set of lessons by Thomas Frank, a fellow YouTuber, about building habits and turning them into lifestyle routines, which will ultimately contribute towards your long-term goals. Being that YouTube is now my full-time job, I need to ensure that I'm dialing in my work routine to stay productive and focus my passions and enthusiasm. Skillshare is a fantastic resource for people looking to improve their skills or completely learn new ones. The first 1,000 people who click in the link below will get access to two free months of Skillshare Premium. And after that, it's less than $10 a month to have full access to over 25,000 courses. That's all from me today and I'll catch you in the next video. Goodbye.